This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a patient who is confused about targets for immune therapy. And so this is a very reasonable question. When, when we talk about immune therapy, we say that it's targeting this or that on the surface of the myeloma. And uh, these are uh, things that we call targets or receptors. And so a receptor on the surface of the myeloma is an antigen. And uh, the antigens that are attractive are ones where if you attack that antigen with an antibody, this triggers the destruction of the myeloma. And so this is a very attractive target. And so it's been discovered that there are several antigens on the surface of the myeloma where one can take advantage of this such that uh, antibody treatment will lead to the destruction of the myeloma. And so thus far, there are two types of receptor that occur frequently, which is obviously important on, on the surface of the myeloma, and which when attacked will lead to the destruction of the myeloma. And so these two receptors are BCMA, B cell maturation antigen, and GPRC5D, which is a more complex antigen on the surface of the myeloma. And so those are the basis for different treatments. For example, the commonest bispecific antibody that attacks BCMA is teclistamab, which was uh, recently approved by the FDA. And the bispecific antibody which attacks the GPRC5D is telquetamab, another uh, very uh, important antibody. And so at the ASH meeting in uh, 2022, a combination of those were uh, attacking both of those in a protocol called TT1 was particularly effective in wiping out myeloma cells, even in patients with uh, relapsing extramedullary disease, patients with disease uh, outside of the bone marrow. And so paying a attention to both those types of receptor is very, very important related to the uh, ability to have a really deep response with the therapy. But for the patient, one of the main things to be aware of is the difference in the side effects with these treatments. Treatments directed against the BCMA on the surface of the myeloma, those therapies tend to produce an increased risk of infection because there is a reduction in the normal B cells in the bone marrow and elsewhere. Uh, these are what are called off-target effects and there are also uh, side effects against uh, nerve tissue and can cause what we call uh, neuropathy side effects. Conversely, with uh, the GPRC5D, the off-target effects are on skin and nails and also an effect on the taste buds. And so there are peculiar side effects that occur with the treatment talquetamab. And so when we're looking at these targets, it's uh, important to know that right now we are focused on two, but there will be more that emerge and are useful over time. And uh, for the patient, uh, the main thing will be to be alert to the side effects and to be alert that the side effects tend to be cumulative over time. And so what we're very alert to is that we have to pay attention to the length of the treatment. Right now, we have rather long durations of treatment, out to two years, for example, with, with teclistamab as a, as a common uh, protocol. And so we need to be alert that maybe shorter treatment uh, protocols would be helpful, and also to pay attention uh, to when does the best response occur, and if treatment is stopped sooner, maybe the risk of side effects will be reduced. And for example, the side effects with talquetamab affecting the skin and the nail and the taste buds, these could be reversible and go away. And so the bottom line is that it is important to pay attention to these targets, both in terms of how well does the treatment work alone or maybe as a combo, and what would be the side effects 
which is uh, very much related to the length of the treatment, which we know needs to be looked at closely as we move forward.